From the book of Genesis to Revelation, God has spoken prophecies about our lives and our destiny. Our words can activate our faith and unleash the prophetic blessings and victory in our lives, or they can cause us heartache and defeat. Speaking God's favor over our lives are so important because the more we understand our values in the eyes of Jesus Christ, the more confident we are in battling the enemy when he comes at us. The words we speak are powerful and they can impact our lives. Biblical affirmations can help you change your mindset, get rid of negative thoughts, and help train your mind. Biblical affirmations are more powerful than regular affirmations. They do not depend on our words, but on God's words. Biblical affirmations are Bible truths repeated, affirmed, and believed until they are deeply ingrained into our entire being. David said in Psalm 2 verse 7, I will declare the decree, the Lord has said to me, You are my son, today I have begotten you. In Ezekiel 37 verse 4 to 8, God told Ezekiel, Prophesy to these bones and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath into you, and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you, and make flesh come upon you, and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you, and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I was prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound. And the bones came together, bone to bone. I looked, and tendons and flesh appeared on them, and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. The word we speak contain power. Our words literally have the power to change our circumstances for better or for worse. We should use our words not to describe our situation, but to change it. I would recommend you practice speaking biblical affirmations over your life and allow it to penetrate into your spirit. It will change your life. Daily biblical affirmations can help you to have a stronger faith, a positive thoughts, and feel closer to God. Ultimately, God wants you to be prepared to take on the challenges of today, grow in self-love, and push past daily obstacles to accomplish His wills. The Bible tells us, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Proverbs 18 verse 21 Words are powerful. Take them seriously. Words can be your salvation. Words can be your damnation. Matthew 12 verse 36 to 37 he who has my word, let him speak my word faithfully. Is not my word like a fire, says the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces? Jeremiah 23, verse 28 to 29. For as surely I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will come to pass, he will have whatever he says. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Revelation 12 verse 10 A man will be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth. Proverbs 12 verse 14 Tonight we are going to pray for God's favor to come over our lives. Let's begin. God always caused me to triumph in Christ Jesus. In all things, I am more than a conqueror. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. God's favor surrounds me like a shield. I have favor with God and man. God's goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. The Lord blesses and keeps me and makes His face shine upon me. He is gracious to me. He looks upon me with favor and gives me peace. God redeems my life from destruction with loving, kindness, and tender mercy. God crowns me with glory and honor. Jesus redeemed me from every curse by becoming a curse for me. I am free from every generational curse. Spoken curse or self-inflicted curse. All curses are broken in my life in Jesus' name. God loves me so much, He sent Jesus to die for me while I was still a sinner. How great is the love the Father has lavished on me, that I should be called a child of God. God loves me as much as He loves Jesus. Nothing can separate me from the love of God. God chose me in Him before the foundation of the world. God has plans to prosper me, to give me hope in the future. My path is like the light of dawn, shining brighter and brighter until the full of day. I am content in whatever state I am. I put no confidence in the flesh. I seek approval from God and not any person. I trust in the Lord with all my heart 
and I do not depend on my own understanding. God is perfecting everything that concerns me. God causes everything, even trials and setbacks, to work together for my good. I have childlike faith in God. I do not question, doubt, argue, or blame God. He is sovereign, all-powerful, and all-knowing. He is perfect, holy, and just in all His ways. His ways are higher than my ways, and His thoughts are higher than my thoughts. His judgment are unsearchable, and His paths beyond tracing out. Therefore, I have complete faith and trust in Him. I walk by faith and not by sight. It is by faith and patience that we inherit the promises of God. So I will exercise faith and patience. God is going to do a new thing in my life. Therefore, forgetting what is past and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward my upward call in Christ Jesus. The Lord has set before me an open door that nobody can shut. My eyes have not seen, nor my ears heard, nor has it even entered my heart all the wonderful things God has prepared for me. My latter days will be greater than my former days. My life is like a vapor. Therefore, I will make every moment of my life count. I will be full of joy and peace. Enjoy every second of my life, and I will not waste time in worry, fear, doubt, unbelief, depression, strife, or anger. A cheerful heart is good medicine, so I will laugh a lot, have lots of fun, be lighthearted, and enjoy my life. Jesus came that we may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance. So I will enjoy my life to the full and have abundance in every area, my ministry, experiences, relationships, finances, and health. The Lord will bring forth my justice at the noonday. The Lord will judge and determine and solve and settle my cause and my cases. I am anointed by the Lord. The anointing I receive from Him abides in me permanently and teaches me in concerning everything that is true. I am strong in the Lord and the power of His might. I am strong and very courageous and observe all of God's commands. I do not turn to the right or left, so I prosper wherever I go. God's Lord does not depart from my mouth, but I meditate on it day and night, and I do according to what is written in it, so my way will be prosperous and I will have good success. I am strong and of good courage. I am not afraid or dismay, for the Lord my God is with me wherever I go. Because my delight is in the law of the Lord, and I meditate on it day and night, I will be like the tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in its season, whose leaves will not wither, and whatever I do will prosper. I will not grow weary in doing good, for in due season I will reap a harvest if I faint not. I cleanse myself from what is dishonorable and unclean. So I am a vessel set apart and useful for honorable and noble purposes, consecrate and profitable to the master, fit and ready for any good work. I abstain from fleshy lusts that war against my soul. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I will not allow the devil, people, or circumstances to steal my joy and strength. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guards my heart and mind through Christ Jesus. God's peace rules and reigns in my heart. God will keep me in perfect peace because my mind is stayed on Him and I trust Him. I bless the Lord at all times. His praises is continuing in my mouth. No matter what my circumstances are, God is good all the time. I count it all joy when I face various trials, knowing that when my faith is tested, it produces endurance, steadfastness, and patience. Therefore, I will let endurance, steadfastness, and patience finish its work so that I become mature and complete, not lacking anything. When I go through deep waters, God will be with me. When I go through rivers of difficulty, I will not drown. When I walk through the fire of depression, I will not be burned up. The flames will not consume me. In patience, I possess my soul, will, and emotions. I walk in the spirit and not the flesh. I am ruled by the spirit and not my feelings or worthy desires. I am not controlled by the flesh, mind, will, or emotions, but by the Holy Spirit. I possess and exhibit all the fruit of the spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, 
kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. I have no provision for the flesh to fulfill its loss. I put my body under subjection. I present my body as a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is my reasonable service. I set my mind on things above, not on things of the earth. For I died, and my life is hidden with Christ in God. God has set me free from the bondage to sin. I am not a slave to sin, but righteous, and my fruit is holiness. I fear the Lord and depart from evil. I am not conformed to this world, but am transformed by the renewing of my mind. I am constantly being renewed in the spirit of my mind. By the Holy Spirit, I am being transformed from glory to glory into the image of Jesus Christ. I have a walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing Him, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. I am steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. I bear much fruit because I abide in Christ and He abides in me. God causes all grace to abound toward me, that I always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. I am a doer, not just a hearer of the word. I am continually being filled with the Holy Spirit. I am led by the Holy Spirit in all things. God gives me wisdom generously and graciously without any criticism. My mouth speaks wisdom. I possess God's wisdom which is pure, then peace loving, gentle, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruits without partially and without hypocrisy. I speak no unwholesome word, but only what is good for edification according to the need of the moment. I speak to people with uplifting and encouraging words. I put away all bitterness, anger, slander, and malice. I am not critical, but my mind dwells only on what is excellent and worthy of praise. I do all things without complaining or disputing. I take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. I am gentle, peaceable, and free from the love of money. I am not self-willed or quick-tempered, but self-controlled. I am quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. I displace agape love, that means I am patient, kind, not jealous. Do not brag and not arrogant. Do not act unbecomingly. Do not seek my own. I am not provoked. Do not hold grudges. Do not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoice with the fruit. The love I display bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things, and never fails. I rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks. I am anxious for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, I make my request known to God. Thank you, Father God. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law. The curse of its effects have been broken off my life. I am free from all sickness, all diseases and plagues, all pains and poverty, lack and confusion, stress, failure, infertility, any drought, any famine, any calamity, oppression, depression, bondage, disgrace, loss, or any other effect of the curse. None of this shall be part of or associated with my life. Thank you, Father God, I am blessed. This means everything that I set my hand to is blessed. The Lord has opened his good treasure to me. The Lord caused me to be overflowing in goods. My storehouse, which include my bank account, are blessed. I lend to many and borrow from none. I am blessed going in and I am blessed going out. I am blessed in the city and in the country. Blessed is the fruit of my body, the produce of my ground, and the increase of my herds or my business. Whatever carries my resources is blessed. Whatever produces my food is blessed. The Lord has opened the heavens to give me rain in its season. Any enemy that rises against me will easily be defeated. The land that I am living in is blessed. People all around the world will see that I belong to God and that He has blessed me. I am the head and not the tail. I am above only and not beneath. I am blessed. Thank you, Father God. You always lead me in triumph in Christ. Jesus disarmed the devil and he triumphed over him. Therefore, I triumph over the devil. I am an overcomer because I have the greater one living in me. I am well able to do anything because Jesus Christ gives me strength. 
I have the wisdom of God in me. I have the mind of Christ. You always give me the victory through Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father God. You have rescued me from the dominion of darkness and translated me into the kingdom of your own dear Son. I have been redeemed by the blood of your Son, Jesus, and my sins are forgiven. My old life is gone. I am a brand new creature. I live in the new man. Therefore, I live in righteousness and holiness. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. I am dead to sin. I am alive in you. Sin has no power in my life. I am free of sin and its effect. Thank you, Father God, because I have received Jesus through faith. I am a child of God. I am your workmanship, and you do not make mistakes. I have been created in Christ for every good work. Thank you, Father God. All things are working together for my good because I love you, and I am called according to your purpose. You have blessed me with every spiritual blessing. No weapon formed against me will prosper, and you condemn any word that is spoken against my life. You have thoughts of peace towards me to give me a future and a hope. Thank you, Father God, for your benefits, for healing me from all my disease, for satisfying me with good things and renewing my youth. By the strap of Jesus, I have been healed. You sent your word to heal me and deliver me from all my destructions. Jesus said that healing is the children's bread and I am your child, therefore healing belongs to me. Jesus took up my infirmities and carried my disease. You are the Lord who heals me and you take sickness away from me. Thank you, Father God, for your word says, whatever I bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever I loose on earth will be loose in heaven. Therefore, I bind sickness, pain, and disease in my body, and I loose healing and strength into my body from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Thank you, Father God, as I sow generously into your kingdom. I am reaping a generous harvest. I always have the sufficiency in all things and have an abundance for every good work. You supply me with seeds for sowing and bread for eating. You multiply the seeds that I have sown, which causes an increased harvest of prosperity. I have been made rich in every way so that I can be generous in every occasion. Thank you, Father God, just as Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph become very rich, very prosperous, exceedingly prosperous and successful by serving you. You are making me rich, very prosperous, exceedingly prosperous and successful as I serve you. Thank you, Father God. You are meeting all my needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I am prospering in all things, and I am healthy. You are blessing all the work of my hands. You satisfy me with good things, and you are renewing my youth. You give me power to attain what I really want in life. You cause whatever I do to prosper. You take pleasure in my prosperity. I trust you, and therefore I am prospering. I am generous, therefore I am being made rich. As I meditate on your words tonight, I am becoming prosperous and successful. I declare and decree all this biblical affirmation in Jesus' mighty name. To God be all the glory tonight. Amen.